Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Modesty33 here, AKA Crystal with a C, back at you with another video. If you're new to my channel, you just happen to click on, welcome, welcome, welcome. I try to put out one to two videos a week. I do sit downs, reviews, reactions, vlogs. So if any of this interests you, make sure you check out the prior videos on my channel. And if you see anything you like before you leave, make sure you subscribe. So today you guys, I actually thought I was gonna do something a little bit different. So today is Monday, October 18th. The Apple event came out earlier today. I've been really getting into like tech YouTubers and their content, which is super awesome um and just kind of like i've been getting into like a little tech space a little bit lately so y'all y'all indulge me a little bit i'm usually in the little luxury space as well as you know some some makeup some vlogging i have a plethora of different things here on my channel make sure you check that out but yeah i've been getting into like a little bit of tech recently so with that being said i did want to do like an overall review of the event today from a non-tech person's point of view as far as what were things that kind of caught my eye what excited me and what are things that I was just like, mm, whatever. So let's go ahead and get started, you guys, because I'm actually on the way to an event. That's why I'm, I'm glammed out a little bit. So I'm going to have to hurry up because I need to drive there. And it's going to take me like 40 minutes to get there. So anyway, we're going to do this quick. We're going to try to do this under 10 minutes. So uh, first thing, you guys, that I recall from the event, I was trying to look on like the Apple website with my iPad mini, but I couldn't find the specifics and um, I don't have time. So the first thing that I do remember from the event was was like the offering of Apple Music uh, monthly plan through Siri. Um, I don't have Apple Music. I keep getting offers for Apple Music as far as the $10 a month. If you have Apple Music, comment below. Let me know if you find it advantageous. I'm a very old school person. I just like to download albums and just pay for them and then I just have them into my mix and I don't do that very often so Apple Music has never been something that really appealed to me um maybe if I tried the tried the free trial maybe that would be something I would appreciate but um I don't see the use for it as far as my life is concerned so the announcement of the um Apple Music through Siri which would be five dollars a month um it was meh to me I don't I don't really care so that was the first thing that I remember recall as far as the event was concerned then they talked about the home pod mini that piqued my interest a little bit even though i don't own a home pod i'm not really interested in owning a home pod i was it piqued my interest as far as the new color offerings were concerned just like as a gift to maybe someone else who um, maybe could appreciate that i hear the home pods are pretty nice devices especially at that price point of like 99 dollars. might be a nice uh gift for someone who does like to listen through music throughout the house or who um is interested in like a smart uh a, a small little like kind of smart home device so that kind of piqued my interest a little bit that's something I might look at a little bit later on maybe as a gift to someone else I'm not certain yet I have to look into a little bit more but yeah that got me a little bit more interested than the um Apple Music because I don't care so that's the second one and then they do have um each of these items I'm talking about today they do have them available for order today on the website so definitely look on there and this is like the HomePod mini I don't know if you guys can really see that they have the different color offerings here again it retails for $99 um I get a little bit of discount so mine says $89 but yeah they're they're $99 they come in space gray blue yellow orange and white are the offerings but otherwise I don't think they change any of the specs on this device so keep that in mind if you already have one you don't need another one um, unless you really like the color so anyway that's the second one now the next one that actually did pique my interest more and they took forever and a day I felt like to get to the point of it <laughs> I feel like they took forever and a day you guys but um and I'm gonna show it to you right here are the new airpods so they've been talking about these airpods for such a long period of time this is kind of the airpods 3 and the new redesign if you can see it here with outside of the glare of the light so um yeah these are the airpods max that I never paid a second look at because of the price but um yeah like the airpods um 3 now I have the airpods pro I love my airpods pro I use them every single day practically um I use them for work I use them for personal use uh I use them to work out like they are yeah they're they're chef's kiss awesome for me but I was actually interested in getting like the airpods too a lot of people um feel like um they really like the airpods too because they don't have the tips and a lot of people the tips don't really fit into their ear so they kind of 
uh, really sway more so to the AirPods 2 as opposed to the Pro. And I was interested in trying the, the AirPods 2 again in my ear because I've actually only tried them once. And what some people were saying is that, um, you know, they didn't initially fit into their ears. However, after time, they really fit very seamlessly into their ears. So I was actually interested in trying the AirPods 2, but I said, let me wait and see if they offer the AirPods 3 and then, you know, maybe jump on that. So yeah, they did talk about the AirPods 3 today. I actually was very impressed by like the changes that they made uh, as opposed to like, you know, the, the pros. I'm not going to get too much into that. Definitely check out the website again because we're going to try to make this under 10 minutes. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to get too much into it, but the AirPods 3 did appeal to me. The redesign of the AirPods looks very similar to the Pro, which I like because I do like the shorter stem on the AirPods Pro. So that was very intriguing to me. Another thing from a non-tech review, increased battery life. So they increased the battery life for these um, AirPods 3 to 6 hours of use. Use. And then 30 hours, um, I believe, as far as like um, total playback with the case, I think. Um, yeah, you can get a total of 30 hours, I believe, like with, you know, with charging them in the case um, as far as, you know, before you have to charge the case. Hopefully I understood that correctly. But um, again, check out the website if I did misspeak on that. But I know 30 hours came in there somewhere. So six hours as far as, you know, playing them continuously and then 30 hours total with the use of the case, if I'm not mistaken. So that was very appealing to me. I always love increased battery life on devices. So that was good. I know they did um, change the a few other features with them as well to make them, you know, better as far as your inner ear listening experience. I think they did improve the um, base as far as the AirPods uh, 3 are concerned. So I was very interested in that and you guys, I did actually order them. So we'll be seeing those, they do, you can order them now on the website. I think they will be available for delivery, maybe pick up in your area starting next Tuesday, October 26th. So I did actually get mine engraved, so they should be delivered to me um, next Wednesday, October 27th. So again, we'll talk about those when I get them and I'll do a comparison between the AirPods 3 and the AirPods Pro. If you're still on the fence, you don't have them and you're maybe interested in like, um, outside of price, if price is not a factor, you want the best possible device, or maybe if price is a factor, kind of comparing them and seeing how they uh, measure up to one another. And if I didn't mention the AirPods 3, I don't think I did, they do retail for 179, which isn't bad because all of the leaks were saying like 199, but yeah, actually they're a little bit cheaper, they're 179, so I don't think that that's bad at all. Um, so you can get like, you know, again, kind of some of the newer features. The only thing that they don't have as far as the AirPods Pro concern is the active noise cancellation. If you don't care about that, then they're really, they sound like they're gonna be really good. Um, and again, that's $20 cheaper than what they were originally advertising them to be, uh, or what the leakers were saying they were gonna be. They were saying it was gonna be $199 according to the leakers, but they're actually $179. So I think that's really good for all the newer features um, outside of the noise cancellation as well as the increased battery life, I think it's well worth it. So we'll see when we get them in hand. Um, the other thing uh, they spent like a lot of time talking about were the new computers. You guys have that stuff I didn't understand because I'm just a very basic computer person. Um, when they were talking about it, I was getting excited about a few features like the 120 gigahertz refresh rate because I've been hearing a lot about that. I was thinking in my head, well, maybe if I get like a MacBook 14 inch um, Pro, you know, I can try the 120 gigahertz and see if I really like the refresh rate. And then maybe I will be interested in upgrading as far as either iPhone 13 Pro Max or 14 Pro Max whenever that comes out for the you know um, nicer display um, I would you know that was my mind you guys and then they talked about the price at the end which no like you know essentially for the 14 um, they have the two chip sizes which are the M1 Pro and then the M1 Max um, so with those two chip sizes, the base model for the Pro, um, M1 Pro is going to be $19.99 and then the M1 Max is like $23 something. Uh, I'm not on the page right now to see because y'all, I don't, I don't, I'm not doing it. So I don't really care, but it did, it does bring some very interesting things in a perspective as far as, um, you know, it brings some interesting things to light as far as, um, what, the comparison of these new devices, which are definitely for gonna be for more so your content creators who were highly advanced more so than I am, but what does that do to the lower end devices and um, 
where do they measure up according to them and as far as what your needs are. So that'll be something interesting to look at. So I'm still thinking about what I want to do because I do want to upgrade my MacBook. It is a 2013 MacBook Pro. So I am interested in upgrading, but I think the 14 and the 16 inch um, M1 Pro and the M1 Max are going to be definitely way too much for what I need. So I am going to be kind of looking to see um, with the other ones, the regular M1 Pro, as well as the M1 um, chip that is in the MacBook Air. I am going to be probably looking at one of those two. So if you have any of those computers, let me know. You guys comment below. Let me know how you feel about those computers, how they're working for you. But um, definitely like the those, you know, 14 and 16 inch M1 Pro and M1 Pro are or M1 Max are definitely going to be nicer computers uh, for those of you who are content creators and who are going to use all of that power. They lost me probably within the first five minutes because I didn't understand half that information. So that's going to be pretty much it for now, you guys. Um, definitely check out the tech YouTubers if you want something a little bit more in depth. Um, this was just kind of my first impressions of the event. Overall, I thought it was a pretty nice event, but as far as what, you know, money that came out of my pocket is for the um, AirPods 3, just to kind of check them out and to do a review and a comparison on my channel for you guys to form a non-tech person's review. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you do give it a thumbs up. Also make sure you do comment, share, subscribe, you guys, all the basics that really helps out my channel a lot. Thank you guys so much for um, watching this video. If you did make it all the way to the end, I appreciate you and I will see you in my very next video. Bye guys.